Hello, I'm on First Lego League Team Omatic number 21465, and our robot has four EV3 color sensors. We've encountered an issue where the four color sensors don't read consistently, even though they've been calibrated. This is what port view looks like. Sensor 1 is reading 52, sensor 2 is reading 82, sensor 3 is reading 72, and sensor 4 is 43. This is very inconsistent because all the sensors are on white. And this definitely can't be used for programming the robot. We've devised an easy to use solution to this problem. The reason this is a problem is because of how the built-in EV3 calibration software works. It lets you record a black value and a white value using one sensor, and then it applies those values as calibration to any sensors you have connected to the robot. This usually works pretty well for a single sensor, but if you have multiple sensors and the sensors are at all different, different heights from the ground, or anything like that, it can cause major problems because they need to be calibrated with a different number for each sensor. Now let me show you our solution to this problem. I've put a link to this file in the description, and right now I'm going to show you how to use it, so let's open up the file. First, make sure that your robot is connected to your computer. Next, download this project file onto your robot. Now we can start working with the robot. Go over to the Files tab, click on Omatic Color Sensor Template, and go to Calibrate. Click on it. It's going to show you what sensor to calibrate on the screen. This is programmed for our robot, so the upper left corner is Sensor 1, the upper right corner is Sensor 2, um, the lower right corner is sensor 3, and the lower left corner is sensor 4. You'll probably need to reconfigure this for your robot, but it's not too hard. So place the sensor over black first, and it will shine out blue light to help you decide which sensor is the right one. And then press the middle button. And then do the same thing for white, and this time it's shining out multicolored light, which is kind of supposed to be white, but it isn't. And then just do the same process for all four of the sensors. And that's it. Now if you go back into this folder, uh, we should see that there's this calibration file. And what that is, is a text file that has saved all of the light sensor values that we just recorded. And it will be used in later programs to give a very precise light sensor reading. Now that we've calibrated the color sensors, we can use a program that's in this folder to view their calibrated values. Click on Color Sensor View and it will load up the calibration file and give you the calibrated values. And they should be pretty good. Uh, definitely much more consistent than Port View and more precise in many cases than just a single sensor calibrated using the EV3 calibration software. So you can just basically use that like you would use Port View. Making a program with our custom calibration software is easy. All you need to do is click on the Teal My Blocks tab and drag in the Load Calibration block. Once you've done that, you can use the Teal Read Color Sensor block just like you would use the usual Yellow Read Color Sensor block. I'm going to make a simple program that will make the robot move forward until it hits a line. So first I'm going to drag in the green Move Tank block and I'm going to set it to On. Our robot has geared motors, so I have to set the powers to negative, and setting them a little bit lower can help the program find the line more easily. Now the custom color sensor block doesn't have a built-in weight feature like the usual one does, but that's okay, because we can use a loop to get a similar result. So put in a loop, put in the custom color sensor block, and also put in a compare block. Now you can select the port, in this case the default works, it's just one, and put the loop on logic mode. Now set this block to basically the light threshold. Maybe like 40, nah, 20. Basically, 
whatever uh, something that's very sure to be black is. Then connect those two blocks and put in a stop block once the loop is over. This will make the robot stop once the color sensor has gone under the specified threshold. Now, just download it to the robot. Now, let's try out the program we just made. Go into the OMATIC color sensor folder and its program. You can make as many programs as you want and call them whatever you want inside this project file and they'll all work with the custom calibration. See, it stops right on the line. To make new programs or rename existing ones, you can just look at these tabs up here. So I'm going to call this one stop at line because that's what it does. So stop at line. Just hit enter. And you can also press the plus to make new programs. If you want to look at the software that's used to make the teal blocks and the other programs, they're all open in the tabs on the left. I'm not going to go into much detail about how they work right now, but they have clear comments and I tried to make them as self-explanatory as possible. If you need any help, just message me in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. I hope this video has helped you use your color sensors more effectively. Thanks for watching. Bye.